Hey, Jim Walminski here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom glow to your photographs. So we already know that we have in the filters here a glow that we can add to stuff. But I'm going to show you how to take this a step further and give yourself a ton more control. And this is going to take full advantage of the new masking features in Photo Raw, which I'm really excited about. So I've done a couple of things to this image. Uh, as you can see already, I, I've added a black and white. Let's turn these off really quick. I've added a black and white effect to this and just tweak my colors a little bit. And then I added a bleach bypass effect to just give this a little bit of contrast. So let's take this empty filter here and I'm going to add a blur to it. And we're going to blur our lights and our dark separately and kind of give them a separate glow. So I'm using a Gaussian blur and about 30 pixels is good. You can experiment with these other blurs up here. Sometimes um, a radial blur or a motion blur is kind of cool for this effect if you have the right photograph for it. But we're just going to use the Gaussian blur today. So what I'm going to do is go into my blending options here and I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. Now I know it looks really dark so I'm going to actually put a mask on here. Now normally I would go down into my control options here and I would adjust the tones here. But now I've got these new masking features and they're really great. So I want this to be on my darks only. So I'm going to create a luminosity mask, which is a mask that's based on the tones in the image. And by default, what Photo Raw gives me is a light's luminosity mask. In other words, the lighter tones show through more than the darker tones. Well, I want just the opposite of that, so I'm going to invert that, and you can see what happens. So my blur, which was in multiply mode, if you recall, is now applied to my darks. I want to govern that a little bit. That blur is a little too broad for me, so I'm going to click on the view in my mask here, and I'm just going to tweak my mask, bring the white part of my mask in. So these are my darker tones now. And I'm going to bring the white part of my mask in and tweak my mid-tones so that my lights are completely eliminated from this effect. Like this. So it's only my darker tones. And I'll just tweak this to my heart's content. And I can always come back, right, and tweak this. So if I click off the view, you can see what's happened. It's just applied this nice velvety blur to my darkest tones. Now, some of my dark tones are a little too dark, and that's okay because this is a black and white photo. So what I can do here is add a tone enhancer. And what I like to do is go down into the curve and just pin my mid-tones down, pin my bright quarter tones down, and pin my dark quarter tones down. Whoops. There we go and then just click on my darkest tones here and I'm going to just, there we go. And I can lift my blacks up so that they're not blocked out. So you can see that I have all my detail back here and this gives me kind of a nice little matte effect. I can add that contrast back by just pulling down a little bit here but I think I like that effect just the way it is. So now I'm going to go up here and add another filter, and it's going to be a blur again. This time I'm going to use the blur to blur my highlights only. So I'm going to change my blend mode to screen, and look what happens. I get this really cool glow on my highlights. So I don't want it in all my shadows. And in this case, I could probably just pull my shadows back this way, pull a little bit of my midtones back, and that'll probably do it. And that looks pretty good. So I can just ease back on this a little bit. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the mask to paint in this glow only where I want it. So let's invert this mask and make it black and grab a brush, a nice big brush. And I'm going to paint at about 80% opacity. Let's make it 70 and go a little conservative. And I want to paint in. And all I'm going to do is just paint this glow in where I want it. Well, I know I want it here. 
and I probably want a little bit on this insignia here but let's reduce the opacity of that to about oh say 40 and I might have to click a couple of times that's okay and then I want a little bit up here because this light splashes up in here right and then up along this wall and probably a little bit along there that's a little too aggressive so let's reduce the opacity of that to say 20 there we go and so now I have this really nice kind of eerie looking photograph I can go on here now I can add a vignette to this and I can finish this off however I want but this kind of custom glow approach combined with the new luminosity masking features is an awesome, awesome combination. So I hope you find this useful. This is Jim Walninski. Be creative, have fun, and I'll see you down the road.